Hello, I'm Patrick Saunders at the DPTV Sports Desk with your weekly Rockies report. Judging by emails I've received and fans I've talked to, there's a lot of interest in the Rockies this spring. So it's time to dig into the Rockies mailbag and answer a few questions. Richard from Windsor asks, should we be concerned with our young catchers heading into this season? It seems like we missed the boat on picking up a veteran catcher to lead a young rotation. I feel like there will be at times when it looks like the blind leading the blind out there. Well, Richard, I don't think you're giving second year catcher Tony Walters the credit he's due. Yes, he's young and relatively inexperienced, but he's making huge strides and he's excellent at framing pitches. Walters has earned the trust of the entire staff. Dustin Garneau is a decent backup, and when Tom Murphy gets back from injury, he'll provide pop to the lineup. As insurance, however, the Rockies did sign veteran Ryan Hannigan, who's currently with AAA Albuquerque. Our next mailbag question comes from, well, <laughs> a bunch of folks, either via email or Twitter. The topic is this, with the Rockies offense struggling out of the gate, a lot of impatient fans want to know why the club has not called up speedy outfield prospect Ramiel Tapia from AAA, something to jumpstart the offense. I think the answer here is pretty obvious. Tapia, just 23, needs a lot of at-bats in order to get better. He's not going to find them with the big league club. Depending on how things shake out, I don't expect to see him until later in the season. And our final mailbag question comes from Ken in Englewood. Ken, who likes to hang out on the party deck before going to his seats, wants to know if there are any big changes coming to Coors Field. Well, Ken, let me start off by saying that Coors Field is the best maintained ballpark in baseball. I know they recently finished installing a lot of new seats, something which is ongoing year by year. The next big project that I'm aware of is the possible installation of a new scoreboard slash video board, the one that sits high above the left field seats. The current one is outdated and threatens to malfunction all the time. Owner Dick Monfort recently told the Denver Post that a new scoreboard is possible for the 2018 season, but it's not a sure thing. That's it for this week's Rockies Mailbag. Thanks to all the fans who submit questions for my online mailbag, On the Rocks podcast, and our weekly Rockies report. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Twitter, at PSaundersDP. For DPTV Sports, I'm Patrick Saunders.